Okay, hi guys. So, after sending that last one, I did get a message. Uh, I learned a new word, which is what I wanted to say. And um, the word is Jew, like J-E-W, a Jew, like the Jewish people back in the Nazis and stuff like that, what they are supposedly representing. And this is very interesting. Uh, because along with, is he a Jew? In that kind of, like that tone. Uh, and then, a Jew is a Jew. You know you're a Jew and you're a Jew. You know, and if you can't say that and become Jewish, their religion actually has no legs to stand on whatsoever. Because they rest on the, on the fact, now get this, okay? They rest on the fact that within each of us uh, is a same equivalent logical circuit, which has two same ends, the duality binary system. All, all bodies have that, and we are the logical operators of that. But now to be a logical operator of that, we have to either be that or we have to not be that. And since that's always changing, and we've decided that our reality is not changing quite as much, like it's eternal, uh, then we have to say that we are not that. And if we're not that, we have to somehow be able to explain it. So it's like, well, this, uh, okay, so technically speaking, it's the more intelligent of us, uh, like the Elon Musk level. And we wouldn't, we wouldn't argue with, with, with each other about that. If, you, if Elon Musk came up to me and said, hey, I need to be a fish today. I'm a fish. I'd say, oh, yeah, I agree with you, you're a fish today. <laughs> what do we care? I mean, we're all doing our own thing. We don't care about what the other guy's doing. All we know is that whatever it is we're doing is consistent with every other person that can possibly be conceiving of any kind of consistent system whatsoever. Yeah. And so we just go off on our own trail. And you guys all think we're like raging egos, which is totally fine. But we're actually like extreme lucifers in that sense because we're like, we're like a rocket. We're going off and on, on our own tangent, our own desires, our own whims. And I brought all that back. And I said, well, I mean, like if that whole half's not real, why should this half be any more real? So then I... <laughs> Talk about questioning God himself. So, uh, so uh, I've been giving away my right to life for a while there and uh, wondering if it's going to ever eternally bounce back because I was noticing a weird kind of echo there with my own unconscious, like my own unconscious is shared. And so I decided that the two logical extremes, one is the present tense self and the other one is the unconscious self. The unconscious self always has to be shared, but the present tense self... <sighs> has two logical extremes, so it makes like a triangle. Oh, okay, was that like the whole eternity? Is that what they're talking about? Okay, so then I, I was like, okay, well, how does that work then? Because there's that other part where, you know, a friend of mine told me there are four. So there are four what? It must be pretty important if you're telling me there are four, and that's your last dying breath. Dear God. And it literally was. <laughs> and then, <laughs> so sorry. <sighs> yeah, but it was... uh it was uh, it was a fifth dimensional death actually, which he didn't realize that he was a fifth dimensional being, and the only way that I could overcome him was to have an, a higher oversight. So I know actually that I'm, I'm, I should be identifying as a sixty person, no, six dimensional. So that's maybe why I'm so confusing to everybody else who's walking around thinking they're five D people. Well, now, okay, for the purposes of uh, you know, for that reason, then in any circumstance, uh, and I'm really sorry to say this, uh, I will appear as the dumbest person among you, um, simply so that you never blame me really of anything. And I'll always be able to verify because I'm always recording everything as best as possible because your system's still a little splotchy in those areas. The record ensures consistency, honesty means consistency, and remember please, uh, Consistency extends through all dimensions so that it doesn't matter if you think it just it's see this guy's a 6D guy No, I'm just introducing you guys to the idea that the, the whole idea of dimensions isn't actually real But uh, only the of course of miracles people will understand that so to the true Jew among you a C I M dot number two dot dream dot C a uh, I think I went to many dots go, go throughout one more time a C I M dot two number two dream.ca you should have a number two and two dots uh, just like when you're working all this backwards you should find out that there are four means that uh, you are actually uh, at least a fourth dimensional person with four distinct personalities 
two of which represent each of the logical extremes, and the other two represent their reflection in eternity, which must also always agree. And so it's like a picture of one person holding two scales, or one person holding two things. So the other side is the scales, and then uh, then you have the two physical personalities, and they're usually always arguing things out. And that's basically what you're doing in your, like, your dreams at night. You're arguing out your daily actions interactions with others in your actual physical environment who, to whom you are connected while in the unconscious portion we currently call sleep or unconscious coma or any kind of unconsciousness not realizing that it never ends so that the unconscious that we experience at night is actually only an interpretation of the actual events that go on day and night as a constant uh, balancing so anything that you've dreamed is uh, gone it's, uh, at the end of an echo. So uh, if you dream an, a dream of an accident, it doesn't need to happen. It, you're you're being told that you've you know that you know you're heading on this path right now. If you steer a little left, steer a little right, you'll miss that. And instead, you're so focused on your past tense that you're following on the same line that your other self is actually trying to correct you from. So your focus has to not be on either of the two logical extremes because that's always fourth dimensional and past tense. The focus has to be on your fifth dimensional side, which is the scales and the balancing of the other two. And so when you're talking to others and they're able to follow what you're saying until you reach just an equilibrium point where you're either saying usually thank you to each other or okay, I got it enough. Or let's pick out a keyword together to stop ourselves from going too high and too low to make just a range that we like to be comfortable in. Because everybody, everybody starts off in a comfort zone. And you can work with that to start with anybody. And that's how anybody can get anywhere, literally, if there's a need. And it's quite independent of money. Money is a fourth dimensional device to try to capitalize on something that they seem to not realize is not limited because their idea of infinity is the top that they have and anything less than that means it's limited. So a fourth dimension, infinity, fifth dimension, eternal. Uh, sixth dimension, dimension, once you reach that in any way whatsoever, you know that there's an eternal line, which is uh, you in the center of rings, which are then the reflections, which are the personalities of four dimensions. Or if you're thinking with a 5D mind, you would, whew, there'd be many more people. Uh, but uh, anyway, yeah, it goes like that. So this one for Facebook, I guess, if it's under five. No, it's over. Okay, you do. Cheers.